Hey everyone, this is Paul with Die Hard RC Addicts. Um, we're back out at the lake getting ready to run my Genesis boat. Um, this is the boat I had. It's been sitting probably a good couple years at least. Um, and I'm finally getting it out to run. Um, it doesn't have the stock setup anymore. I uh, changed out the motor and ESC. I've got an older um, Hobby King Turnigy XK motor. It's a 40 by 74 motor that's um, rated at 2000 kV. And I upgraded the ESC to a Hobby Wing 180 amp uh, Marine ESC. Um, everything else is stock. I'm going to be running it on uh, 5S lipo packs. I've got two 3000 milliamp lipo packs. I'll be running in parallel. These are the Revo Electrics. Um, they're rated at 70C and they're the high voltage, um, 4.27 volts per cell. So let's uh, plug it in and. Uh, or what would you point out, Frank? Yeah, the prop's not stock. We put oh, an uh, yeah. Octura X442 detongue sharpened and balanced prop on there. Yeah, that's because the stock prop was a cheap plastic one, and I pretty much broke that on the first day I ran it. <laughs> it spun it right off. So let's throw it in the water and uh, see what happens. Ready? Yep. You want to walk over this way more, Paul? Oh, Something to let go. You did what you did. All right, grab the pole real quick. All right, guys, I got the boat back in, and we took it apart. And Frank found out that the shaft. Well, we took the to see what it was going on, and the looks like the weld on the prop shaft broke off on the inside. I had this completely apart and it was definitely busted off there. Um, I don't know why I didn't put it back together. You need to get a new prop shaft and everything for it. So basically the weld busted off, so we're not going to be able to run it today. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> so need to upgrade, I think, to a 3 16 type prop shaft anyway, so you can just put whatever Octura prop you want on there without the uh, bushing on it. Okay, well, stay tuned. Uh, Genesis will be coming back uh, after I get some parts for it. All right, everyone, we got back to the house and I tore the boat back down again. And uh, basically you can see the prop shaft had this little uh, fitting or coupler that was actually attached to it. And it looks like the motor just torqued it apart. Um, it busted the little fitting that fits over the flex shaft right in half and it just busted off the prop shaft. So basically that's what happened. I don't know if it was just too much power. I'm not sure if it's going to do it again uh, if we put a new one in. So we'll just have to take it back out and run. Um, but Frank did give me a new prop shaft to put on the boat, so we got it all back together and ready to run. So I'm going to be taking it out um, this coming weekend, and we'll try and run it again and uh, see what happens. If it breaks this prop shaft again, then I'll probably have to update the drive system to something a little more beefy. Oh, and I did have a, a GPS uh, clock on it just for that little spurt. It was actually hit 30 miles an hour just in that little spurt. Uh, I'm sure if we can get a good long run, it should be doing hopefully over 50. So I guess we'll find out next time we run it. Hey everyone, I got a little uh, sneak peek of an upcoming project that Frank's working on. You want to tell them a little bit about it, Frank? Yeah, I guess to uh, pick this up on eBay, it's a Aeromarine uh, Predator. It's a 3.5 uh, gas version tunnel hole, but I'm building it as a fast electric. So hopefully by the time Paul gets ready to run his uh, Genesis again, I'll have this together and we can either test run it on 4 and maybe 5S. Um, I'm still building it, so it's not complete yet, but hopefully it'll be ready soon. So stay tuned. Yeah, it looks like it's coming along nice, Frank.